Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now you may see me standing here on this funny test platform. Well, we have a very important thing to test and that is how to deposit the lobsters into hoppers. What's the best system? What are some of the myths, some of the theories and how we can prove it and see the system that I'm gonna utilize in my future creation. So you can see here, We've kind of built this platform, there's a bed, it's a little bit funny with a winch, but the idea here is to first test a myth. That myth is whether or not orientating this lobster pot with the hole on the bottom will enable the lobsters and crabs to fall right into the hopper, or do they scatter everywhere like they do with this orientation of the hopper which is sort of in the upright position the holes on the side and they may fall everywhere now from the small tests and things that i've seen the lobsters will just fall out from all sides but first i want to prove or disprove if this orientation is better and second i want to prove here whether or not i have to have this on off output to release the lobster pot coming from the key button attached to both lobster pots or if I just simply have it attached to the bottom one will it feed through this one and sort of behave like the hoppers do now the hoppers for those of you that don't know are linked in a way that when you take a look at their fill level like this it'll actually read the fill level for both of them likewise if you have a, a deposit on the side to fall out a chute it will fall out and deposit from the whole system now i don't think these work that way from a small test i did they don't but we're going to prove it here alternatively and otherwise but that is something and this is something so we're going to utilize this system we'll start by dropping the lobster pots here down to the bottom of the water and going to bed for those of you that don't know, if you sleep, then your game will collect lobsters and you wake up and they're going to be sitting in the lobster pots. I've woken up and I can see that there are lobsters and crabs in my pots, so we can bring them back up now and take a look at what happens when we try to deposit them. Okay, so I'm going to use this system now to move it over top of the hopper. And for the moment of truth, will this one fall nicely into the hopper versus this one not? and go all right so that is quite interesting it seems that we've proven now that the one on the right hand side actually did drop them out through that hole rather than this one here you see them all moving around squirming about and how many have actually fallen here we got 16 over here we got 30 so about half of them fell all around except for inside that hopper so first and foremost that is pretty important to note now i can test out what my theory is if i disconnect the release to this and for this one if i turn the key well do they leave the top one no they don't so the bottom one is empty the top one is still full so do not i repeat do not only connect it to one of the nodes you gotta press on off output going to both of them but that said even in this system this top one was not spilling out of the side it was going more or less through this lobster pot through this hole and into here so this system for sure is the preferred system if you want your catch to fall into the hoppers nicely an alternative system is to make sure that your pulley goes a little higher and actually add a physical hopper is what we call them in the industry. Here you might just want to call it <laughs> somewhat of a slope going and depositing these things into your chute or rather into your hopper. So you pretty much continue the hopper walls that you see here outside of them. And let's see what different slopes may give us. Now, by no means is this pretty, but we'll see if it does help collect and concentrate the hatch, the catch into these hoppers here. And let's see what happens here. Okay, well, while this one is purely dropping again, the hoppers are helping, or the hopper walls are helping deposit it. Now here it gets kind of stuck, but that's fine. Let's see, 
Over here we got 23, over here we got 21. So only three fell out, which is not a terrible amount. Actually, in fact, we may be missing one or possibly these pots got more than these ones. But regardless, having the shoot kind of slopes do help in concentrating the, the catch and making it fall into the hoppers. So you can do one or the other or have the sloping walls with this because what if the ship is rocking in the water it may not fall perfectly into here so i'd probably recommend sort of a dual system but regardless i'd say we got some valuable information here it's pretty much everything people have been reporting but it's important to see it firsthand that's sort of the rule about being a scientist or engineer you gotta prove and or disprove what you hear so here you have it this seems to be a working system both cases seem to get you your lobster catch. Um, implement either one. Let me know in the comments if there are any other systems you think would be useful to test. Uh, just very, very basically, these are the two that I could think of. But let me know. And otherwise, see you in the next video. Happy storm racing, everyone. Now, for those of you that have made it past this part of the video, I do want to give you a little update. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to be taking the RSV toll and pretty much reconfiguring the deck and making it a crabbing vessel. Now, this is still a pretty small vessel, uh, but it will be using an automated system and system that can actually kind of deposit and leave the lobster pots so you're not standing over them. You can actually deposit them, drive away, come back and do it. My actual goal would be to reconfigure this vessel for a massive, massive crabbing operation. And that still may be here to come. I want to see what everyone thinks in the comments. Should I be focusing on the crabbing vessels? Or should I be getting back to all of the Alta mining equipment? I have here some of the work in progress creations as well as some of the released ones. But pretty much what I'm planning to do here is actually create... A bunch more types of machines that can collect and deposit minerals as well as a stack reclaimer machine that can be automated and drive now search that up if you don't know what it is a stack reclaimer it's pretty much a massive massive thing that can drop and deposit um, minerals i do want to make it so that you can utilize it alongside something like this so then you'd be able to actually deposit from this trailer into what will be the stacker it'll take it up and deposit it into say a train car or another form of storage maybe if i make a storage building or something else so there's a lot a lot a lot of different things that i have in mind but only so much time this isn't my full-time job i do this because i love it so i try to balance and kind of make things that are fun for me as well as things that people recommend so Stay tuned, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.